Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Nicole Havlicek, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the number one thing that could be killing your dink. Here's Jordan Brionis to walk us through it. All right, so as we get started today, uh, in today's quick tip here, uh, we're talking about what the main number one thing that I see people um, doing that is really affecting their dink game in a bad way, okay? So, and that is what we're specifically gonna be talking about today is getting the ball early and out in front. And that, that's what they're not doing, okay? So you'll see a lot of players here um, as, as we dink. The, the short dinks are fine, they get, they're, they're good with those, but it's the dinks that come really close to their, close to their feet, okay? They're, they're not catching it early and out in front, okay? So the thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to contact the ball really close to your body, and you don't want to even let that ball get even close to your body or behind you is even worse, okay? That's like the worst possible thing you could do. And then what that translates into when you're letting the ball get too close is you're trying to compensate um, and then you're gonna use your wrist and it's just gonna cause all sort of inconsistencies, okay? So let me show you again. Usually what people do, if you, they get some deep dinks, they're not gonna, they're gonna just try to, they're not gonna catch it early and also they're just gonna let it, let it fall right next to their feet. So instead of that, what we wanna do is we wanna catch the ball in front and early so that we can hit a very consistent and solid dink. So I have a visual for you guys. Um, so let's get that set up and then we'll jump right in. All right guys, um, so here I have set up um, some cones here. Uh, these are just cones that you could just get at uh, any store or you could use, you could really use anything a line of tape or uh, anything that you have, um, you know, that is accessible to you, okay? But basically, um, this exercise is going to show you how to stand your ground and also how to make sure you're catching every ball early and out in front, which is really gonna impact your game in a positive way, okay? So we're gonna do some dinks now, and, uh, and then you are gonna try to hit these cones, okay? So if I wasn't, catching balls early and out in front, this is, this is what would happen, okay? Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> all right, so she got a point there. She hit a cone, okay? So let's do it again. Okay, aim for the cones again. Okay, so I'll let that one get behind me. So instead of this, what this is going to force you to do, all these dinks near your feet, okay? You're gonna see me, uh, I'm gonna get really low and basically, these are these are my. I need to guard this line, okay. And also, I the the exercise for this drill. I don't want the balls hitting them. So what it's going to allow me to do is I'm going to take mo the majority of these dinks out of the air, and so that means I'm going to catch it out in front, way early and out in front of me, so that it doesn't even come close to any of these cones. And what that's going to do is that's going to translate into. Um, hitting that ball to your opponent and, and getting it there even faster and I will never get I will never contact a ball even close to my body or behind me so it's gonna it's gonna look like this here we go okay so the same thing you're gonna try to hit uh, any of these cones and then I'm gonna just try to hit every ball out in front and not even let the ball get close okay here we go let's play out a point So the short dinks are fine. I'm not worried too much about the short dinks because I could hit it out in front. It's the ones that land close to my feet I want to catch early. So this is a really good visual. And as you guys can see, I'm getting really low. But what I'm doing is I'm protecting, I'm protecting the cones in this drill. And also, I'm making sure that I'm not catching any balls too close to my body and behind me. So what this drill is gonna do, is just gonna teach you to put a lot of pressure on your opponents and it's also gonna keep you up at the non-volley zone so that you can be a real threat here at the net, okay? So let's play a few more points out. 
Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm leaning in. Okay. Every ball, I'm looking, looking out in front. And I'm making sure um, I'm going to catch it early. Trying to make sure I clear the net every time. Okay. As you can see, it takes away a lot of time from my opponent. And they have less time to set up, especially when I'm taking these dinks out of the air. Okay. Okay. So now she's trying to hit the cones, but I'm not even letting her get close, okay? The last, last couple points here. Move me around. Oh, good shot. All right, so that was a good one. Okay, so basically that's the idea, guys. Try to stay up and try to hit every ball early and out in front. And hopefully this is a great visual uh, for you guys. You guys could use anything that you guys have access to. So I um, hope you guys really enjoy this video. Give it a like and a comment and make sure you subscribe to this channel. We appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, and for more pro player pickleball secrets, please visit primetimepickleball.com. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified as soon as we come out with new videos.